Hi everyone, this is Lori from Kid Made Modern. Thanks so much for everyone for joining us today for our fun Michaels class. Uh, we are here with our friend Tessa from Studio Jane. You may have been in some of our classes before with Tessa. She is an amazing crafter, so we're so excited to do a fun Thanksgiving craft with you all today. Um, I will be the moderator of the class. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, or if you wanna share what any of your craft ideas or supplies you're using or anything like that, feel free, tips you might have, Put the uh, feel free to put them in the Q&A and I will um, speak to it and ask Tessa any questions that you guys have. Um, just if you also are um, crafting with us today, we would love to see your projects. So um, you can hashtag make it with Michaels and also if you'll tag at Kid Made Modern, that would be amazing so we can see it as well. We'll pass that on to Tessa. So, all right, Tessa, time to get started. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today to make this adorable little pie garland just in time for Thanksgiving. We're going to craft our favorite pies. Um, I picked a few different styles. You can definitely do the same technique, but make different colors or different style pies depending on maybe your family traditions or your favorite. So get creative. Um, but we're going to go through the whole supply list first here so you guys can make sure you have everything handy and then we'll get started. Uh, so this whole pie garland is made from felt. So I'm using um, some felt sheets from Michaels, as well as um, some little felt strips from the Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library. Um, so I brown, tan, orange, and white are really the colors that I'm using. But again, you can use other colors if you prefer. Um, we are going to be using scissors and glue dots. So I have little sheets of glue dots here. Uh, you can kind of see the little dot there in the middle of each square. Um, that's how we're going to be assembling our entire um, little pie garland today. Uh, you can definitely use hot glue as well if you're crafting with an adult, um, but liquid glue will work. It just takes a long time to dry on felt, um, so you might need to wait to assemble yours um, entirely afterward. Um, and then we're going to be using some embroidery thread that is from our Kid Made Modern Arts and Crafts Library, as well as some little needles. These are also in the library. And lastly, I have some little pom poms here, like white sparkly pom poms. Um, those we used for some fun little whipped cream toppings. Uh, so you can use other colors or other types of materials to do that as well. Um, but that's basically everything that you need today. So it's not a lot of supplies. It's pretty simple. If you've got felt, then you're going to be able to craft along with us. Um, if you don't, you can definitely make this very similar garland out of paper. So you could use all different fun colors of paper to make um, your pie garland as well. All right, I'm going to flip my camera around so you guys can see my hands and what I'm doing and we'll dive right in. Okay. So to make our little pie garland today, we again are using felt. Um, as I just mentioned, if you guys don't have felt and you want to use paper instead, that's definitely an option. Let's see here. Okay, so to start with our garlands, we need to cut out triangles and oh, one thing I didn't mention was a marker of some kind to draw your triangle. Um, I'm using a thick black marker here. You can use um, even a pencil should work and show up on your felt or um, any sort of marker will work. And we're going to start by making our triangles. And you can definitely use a straight edge if you want to. I'm just kind of eyeballing my lines um, and then we can with our scissors, straighten it out. And once we make one triangle, we're gonna use that triangle as our template for all the other ones. So to do this, I'm gonna start in one corner. So I have a corner here and I'm going to take my marker and draw a diagonal line about five inches or so. You can definitely make your pie slices bigger or smaller as well. So if you want to make a really big pie slices, you're just gonna make larger triangles or if you wanna make little tiny ones, you can do that as well. So once I've drawn my first line about five inches or so in a diagonal, I'm gonna take my pin at the point here and drag it back down toward the end. And we've got a little triangle. So we're gonna cut out our first one. And then like I said, we're gonna use this as a template. And by that, I mean, we're gonna 
trace it. So then all of our triangles for our pie slices are going to be the same size and shape. So I've got a little triangle here. And so now I'm gonna take my triangle I just cut out, place it on top of my sheet of felt and trace along the edges. And your first one that you cut out might end up with some lines from your marker on the edges. You can either make multi, use this one as your template and not use it in your garland, or you can trim it, it off afterward. I'm just gonna go ahead and trace another one. And this template will just kind of be a tool rather than on the garland itself. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut out these ones. First, I'm doing two orange, two tan, and two brown. So six pie slices total. So I'm gonna cut out the colors as we go. And Sometimes felt can be a little bit tricky to cut with uh, scissors. Just take your time. If you start a little bit further back, so put your felt further back into your scissors, rather than cutting with the tip of your scissors, usually it helps cut through felt or thicker material. All right, so we've got two orange pie slices here. And I'm gonna move on to our next color, which I have like a tan color here. Again, you can definitely use any colors that you want. Um, I went with some traditional pumpkin and apple looking pies, but you could definitely make key lime pie, make them green or lemon pie or chocolate pie, or maybe make up your own type of pie that doesn't even exist. And you can use any colors that you want. And I'm just cutting out as I go. I kind of traced out two of each on the color and then cut them out. And if you're using these like full size eight by 11 sheets of felt like I am, then you'll definitely have excess. So you could either make a longer pie garland um, or save it for another craft. These little pie slices would also be cute to turn into like a little Thanksgiving card. So you could make little individual pie slices to give to everyone at Thanksgiving. Okay, last I have this dark brown here and just doing the exact same steps. This one might be a little hard to see my marker lines on there, but I think you guys are expert triangle tracers at this point. Okay, cutting out my last one here. Okay, so now we've got a whole little pile of triangles and we are going to be able to start decorating them. Um, so make sure to hang on to all these pieces because we're going to be using more of all these pieces of felt to add to our um, pies. So to start, I think I'm going to use this tan 
felt here to make little um, crusts for each one. And for each one, you can do different styles. So I'm gonna do a couple different style options here. And some I'm going to cut a little strip out first. I'm gonna cut a little rectangle, making sure that it's long, about the same length as my triangles. And then I'm just going to freehand cut a little wavy edge to it. So I'm just taking my scissors and kind of cutting down, then back up and down to make a little wavy line. As you can see here then, that will be able to fit directly onto the top of our little pie triangles. And already we turned a little felt triangle into a slice of pie. We're gonna definitely make these a lot more interesting and add fun details, but just adding the little crust on there, you can already see that it looks like a little pie. I'm gonna do a couple more uh, in the same style here. So again, I'm just cutting a little rectangle out first. And then I'm just going to cut up and down to create a little wave shape. And each of these little, the little pie crusts, you can definitely make them all different sizes as far as the width of them. Um, we probably want them to be about an inch or so long or wide so that they can sit nicely on top. Can I see there. Okay, so once we have a couple of wavy ones, I'm gonna do one more little wavy pie crust. And again, just taking my scissors, and cutting that little wave kind of looks then at the end like a little handmade pie crust. This camera, is, there we go. Sorry, got a little blurry there for a second. Okay, so. Now I've got three different little wavy pie crusts and we're going to also do, um, let's see here, we want to do a little crimped pie crust. So to do a crimped edge, we're going to go ahead and cut another long little rectangle, but we're just going to keep this one straight. So I'm going to cut carefully and just cut a thin little like half inch or so strip. And I want to make sure that it's going to be the right length. So that looks, it should be just a little bit longer than your triangle itself. And we're going to crimp these ones. And by crimping it, I mean, we're going to fold them into a couple little spots to look like a little crimped crust edge. So we're going to do that when we glue them all together. So for now, I'm just going to cut two that way. So I'm going to do another long rectangle here. Okay. And then we need one more option. So I'm going to do a layered crust look. So to do that, similar to this little style one here, we're going to cut lots of little strips and then we're just going to glue them on top of one another. So these aside. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut long skinny little strips out of my tan felt here. And they can be all different differing sizes. Sometimes this is a great idea if you have just little scraps left. Um, then you can layer them all together to make a little crust look.
Okay, so I'm going to cut one more. I have like six little strips, all differing in size a little bit, and then we're going to layer all those together. Okay, so as you can see, I'm kind of prepping all my steps. So I just like to have all of my different pieces ready, and then we'll assemble it all at the end. That way you're not necessarily jumping back and forth between glue or paint and then back into your felt. So you can cut everything ahead of time and then we'll go and start gluing everything together. So I'm just putting all my pieces kind of together to make sure that I have a crust for each option here. So I've got all sorts of my little pieces ready to go. And before we assemble our crust, we're going to do a lattice style, which is what this little crust pie slice looks like. And to do that, it's again, just little strips of felt. So we're just gonna layer strips of felt in a uh, little lattice pattern overlapping one another. So to do that, we're going to, again, using our tan felt here, gonna cut some little strips out. So about half an inch or so, I'm just gonna cut long strips. We want them to be longer than the slice of pie so that it goes all the way across in a diagonal pattern, and then we'll trim off any extra. So by that, I have this piece here that's about seven inches or so, and you can see that it goes all the way across diagonally. And once we glue these down, we'll be able to trim all the excess off. You can definitely use this first piece as a sample or a template if you want to make sure all of your pieces are the same, um, or you can just, just eyeball it and do a, a rough estimate to keep them all about the same width. And if they vary a little bit, that's okay. And some of these pieces, as we layer them, you'll see there's a lot that we'll cut off so we can reuse some of those pieces. Uh, we're gonna do two different lattice pies. Okay, I think we'll cut one more stri strip here. So I have, I think, seven strips. We'll see, I think that should be enough. Um, as we trim off our excess, then we can use it on the other piece as well. You can always go back to cut more if you need to. So now we've got all these strips that are ready for our lattice pies. And then we need to cut out a couple of more shapes. So again, we're cutting out all of our pieces first, and then we will go back and we'll be able to glue them all together. So next we want to cut out a couple little eye shapes to look like little, um, little cuts out of the top of the pie. And I'm gonna use a dark brown here because it'll go on my light brown pie crust. And I'm just going to take my scissors and cut a little eye shape, so a little almond shape. So it should look something like that. And we're gonna cut four of those out. Again, you can use that little piece as a template if you want to, to cut around or trace it, or just cut a similar size one next to it. And you can do different shapes as well. So if you want to do a different little shape instead, you could do little circles or little hearts. Uh, you could definitely do all sorts of things like little pie cutouts at the top. The goal is that this looks like a little cutout and you can kind of look in to see what the filling is inside. 
Okay, so now that we've cut out those, our last is going to be to cut out a little white blob, if you will, um, just a little cloud shape, a little wavy edge circle. This is going to be sort of the base for some of our whipped cream. So let's see on this one here, I'm just kind of cutting randomly to make sure that it looks sort of like a little a little blob almost like a little egg white and just want to make sure that that's going to fit on the middle of our little pie and we're going to do two of those and you can make these bigger or smaller depending on how much whipped cream you like i personally think it's the best part of pumpkin pie but you know everyone likes a different piece we got a couple little things like that. I'm actually gonna make this one just a tiny bit smaller. And all these pies we're making, again, are more traditional looking fall pies, but personally my favorite pie is probably a banana cream pie. So, can put it in the Q&A, let us know what your guys' favorite pie is. Are you making your favorite pie? I'd love to know. Okay, so now we've cut out all these pieces. If you're still cutting, no rush at all, take your time. Um, we're gonna do a lot of these things are very repetitive as we're doing kind of two of each style pie. So if you're still cutting, um, you can still watch as you finish cutting out all of your pieces and then you'll know exactly how to start assembling it when you're ready to do so so to Tessa, isabella or is izzy is actually doing all you're doing all the pies mm -hmm. so it sounds uh, that sounds great i like that plan and if you're having all the pies at your thanksgiving um can i get an invite because that sounds great okay so to start here we are going to start with our little lattice pies first and to do these we're going to set our crust aside because we want to put our lattice work down first and then put the crust on top so to do this we're going to take our glue dots and i'm using these little sheets here of glue dots um, they also also have like a little roll of glue dots you can get them at Michael's. A lot of um, our Kid Made Modern kits come with these little sheets as well. Again, you can also use a hot glue gun if you're crafting with an adult today. So to use the glue dots, I'm just going to press a little glue dot directly into the back and kind of see a little shiny dot there. And we're going to, I'm just gonna put one down first. So I'm gonna put it in to the top corner, kind of starting in the middle going diagonally across. So I'm gonna press that in. And now once I kind of know where my end is, that's where I'm going to add another glue dot. And do that, I'm gonna just put a little glue dot directly onto that little strip and then press it down. So once we get everything on here, we'll be able to flip this over and cut away all of our excess but we're gonna keep layering all these on first. We'll do the same thing here, put a little glue dot into one side. And then I'm going to leave a little gap here and then place the next one down. And you wanna make sure that the edge is just slightly over the edge of your pie triangle so that you can make sure we get a nice clean cut there. So we're starting to build our lattice here. See, for this instance, I'm gonna trim this one first since it's a longer piece and we can use it down below. I'm gonna put a glue dot in 
I'm not putting it directly on the edge because we're gonna trim a lot of that. So I'm coming in just a little bit with the glue dot or with the dot of glue and then laying it down about the same distance here. And glue dot sticking out a little bit. So now your pie crust, your pie should start to look something like this. And I'm going to go ahead and trim all of these edges off, and then we'll do the second layer. I'm just flipping over my triangle and then just cutting all the little extra pieces off. And if you have a little bit of a glue dot sticking out, you should just be able to cut right through those. Sometimes it might stick to your scissors like that one. You just peel it right off. Okay, so now that with all of our little edges trimmed there, there's the start of our little lattice. And now we're going to do the same things, just going the opposite direction on the same little pie triangle. So again, I'm gonna put a little glue dot, and this time I'm gonna go diagonally in this direction. We're gonna keep doing the same thing here. See that taking shape. Trim off this top one so I can use that. I think we're going to run one more right along the bottom here, right along the edge. I think we'll make it look nice and finished. It's going to kind of fall off the edge there. So I'm going to take a glue dot and stick it right along the edge to keep that in place. And then we're going to flip it over and cut all that extra bit off. There we have our first little lattice all looking cute. And then we'll be able to take glue dots. I'm gonna do a couple glue dots on my little crust piece here. And put that right on top. And there you have a full finished little lattice pie, just looking adorable. If you have any little edges that maybe aren't sticking down great, you can always go back in and add a little bit more, another little glue dot, anything like that. But so that's our first little lattice and we're gonna do the exact same thing on this one here. So again, take glue dot. I'm gonna kind of start in the middle up to the top corner. You can make multiple patterns with lattice too. If you wanna to do more of a straight checkerboard, you could do that. 
um, or you could do wavy lines. So you can certainly get creative with it. Okay, so we've got our first layer here, and I'm going to go ahead and trim off all the excess. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing again with the other pieces here. We're just going to go in the opposite direction to create a diagonal pattern. And sometimes I'll just even peel off a little glue dot with my finger if there's a fine little spot that I want it to go into. Sometimes it sticks a little bit to your finger, but it peels right off. Okay, our last glue dot for our lattice. All right, and then we can go ahead and trim off all of our excess felt again. And we just made another cute little lattice pie. Let me trim this a little bit more here. And then I'm gonna add an extra glue dot in at the bottom. Since we're not using a lot of glue dots, the great thing about felt is it kind of sticks to itself already too. Uh, so you can easily add in an extra glue dot, but it kind of hugs onto itself like Velcro. So don't have to worry too much about needing too many glue dots. Okay, and we're going to add our crust to this one as well. So you can do two or three, maybe stick one in the middle. And then I'm just gonna lay that little crust piece right at the top. And there you have a little lattice pipe. So now our lattice pies are done, which means we can move on to our others. So we've got these little cuties here that we're going to do. And we're gonna do the little crimped edge on here, which is very fun. So we're gonna do a crimped edge and it's really just using glue dots to kind of fold it in place in a couple of spots. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to set these little shapes aside first. And we're going to start with the little crust. 
So I'm going to take a glue dot and put it into one side here and glue that on. And I'm just gluing it directly into one edge here. And now I'm gonna take a second glue dot and with my little crust, I'm going to go ahead and just fold it up a little bit and put a glue dot in between that little fold. So I put a little glue dot in between there. You can see it'll start to look like a little crimped edge. Now we might need to add a little bit more crust here, but we can do that. And then we do the same thing a little bit further down, do a little crimped edge. And do one more here. And I'm just going to add a little strip of felt at the end to finish it off. So now you've got these little crimps edge, but they're not quite sticking down. So we're gonna add glue dots in between now. And take a little glue dot and go underneath and in between the little crimped edges and then that will stick flat. I have a cute little crimped edge. I'm going to trim off the extra, extra bit here. And there you have it. So we're going to do another crimped piece here. We'll go through all those same steps. So if you are just starting a crimped one or not sure if you're doing it right, we're going to go through all those steps again. And I'm going to take another piece of felt here. And starting with a piece, a little glue dot into my corner. I'm going to glue that down. And then with my hand, finger, I'm just going to take off a little glue dot. And then I'm just going to pinch a little edge here and stick that glue dot right in the little pinch. And that just folds that felt together. And then move down a little ways and do the exact same thing here. So you can kind of pinch the little glue dot off of your finger in between the felt. And that'll hold it in place. And there you have another little crimped edge. So then we're just gonna take a couple more glue dots. Stick one on the end here. I'm going to stick one underneath in the middle to hold it in place. This one's pinch that little glue dot in there tight to make sure that it sticks both sides together. And you've got two little crimped edges. You can definitely trim off any extra bit here. And next we're going to glue these little cutouts on as well. So I'm just putting the glue dot one on each and just gluing them down right into the center. You can add as many different little embellishments as you want, like I said before too. So if you want to make something that looks a little bit different or different fun shapes, maybe a little fall leaf cutouts, you can do that. So 
Okay, so our little crimped edges are complete. I'm gonna set these two aside and we're gonna finish up with our little pumpkin pie slices here. We're gonna do a couple different ones. So we're gonna start with this one that's gonna be a little bit quicker or easier. Since we have another little wavy crust here, we're just gonna glue this on like we did with the lattice. So just put a glue dot in each corner and sticking it right on top. And then I'm going to put a glue dot in the middle of our little whipped cream blob and glue that right in the middle. But then I'm gonna also take a little white pom-pom here and stick that in the center as well. And there you have a fun little sparkly pumpkin pie slice. Okay, moving on to our last pie slice, we're going to do uh, this kind of funky little braided or layered crust. And to do that, we're just going to layer all these little strips together. So I'm gonna take a glue dot on either end and I'm gonna go in a couple different directions here and just kind of start layering it on top of one another to fill in this whole space. We're gonna again, flip it over and cut off any extra. So if it falls off the edges a little bit, that's fine. So I'm starting with just kind of crisscrossing them over. And then start filling in here. And there's no wrong or right way. So I'm just kind of going into the edges wherever I see a little bit more of the orange showing through and starting another piece there. And sometimes if your glue dots like these ones are a little bit bigger, I can just fold them on top of them themselves if they're sticking out a little bit. And there you have a fun little layered crust. You can leave it as is if you want to, or I'm just gonna flip this over and trim a little bit off. And there you have your little layered crust. So next we're just gonna do the same thing with adding in our little whipped cream topping. And then do a little gold sparkly and white. And you can add a couple if you want to. So you could take another little one, stick it on top or next to it just to make that look fun and add a little bit of sparkle. And there you have all of your pie crusts all assembled, looking quite tasty and so adorable. So our last step is going to be stringing all of them together. And for that, we're going to be using our embroidery thread and our sewing needles. And the it can take a little bit of practice to get the thread into the little edge of your, into the eye of your needle, which is the little hole at the top. But I have no doubt that you guys can do it. So to start, I'm going to pull out about three feet or so of this embroidery thread. You can definitely make yours as big or as small as you want. Um, you can add more pie slices to it, or you can always just spread them out more. Either way works. Okay, so to start, I'm going to put the edge of my 
embroidery thread right through the center of the eye of my needle. And oh, my thread is splitting here. And it's easiest I find to go right along that your finger. So pull it really tight and then you can pull it right through. I'm not going to tie a knot at either end because we're going to pull all this through. So to start, I'm going to take my needle once you have it all threaded and I'm going to push right through the edge. I'm going through the front and then pulling it through the back. And I want to leave about eight inches or so, six to eight inches of thread on the other end. So we'll tie little loops on either side so it's easy to hang. So then once we've pulled it through the first one, we're gonna have this thread going across the back and we're gonna go ahead and push our needle from the back into the front. And your needle should push pretty easily into the felt and look something like that on the back. And then we're gonna do the same thing for each little pie slice. So I'm just pushing my needle from the front to push it right through. If you have a little trouble, you can just push it against the table top you're working on. That gives you a little bit more pressure. You don't have to worry about it popping through and hurting your finger. and then come to the other side and pull it through. So now you should have these guys are connected here and on the back should look like that. And again, we're gonna start in the front and pull your needle through. Oh, my little thread here got a little knot, just pull that out. I'm doing them sort of in an order of just the lattice pumpkin and then this little what I'm thinking of like is maybe an apple pie and then do the exact same pattern again. So start now back to the lattice. Pumpkin pie. And for each of these, I'm just going in directly underneath, sort of right underneath the crust line. That way you don't have to push your needle through multiple layers of felt. And stitching on our last one here. Okay, so now all of six of your little pie slices are all on here. So I'm gonna take my needle off. You always wanna make sure that you put your needle back on this little felt or if you have a little sewing kit to make sure that that is safe. So now at the end here, you've got all of your pie slices together and you should have these little tails at the either end. And we're gonna add little tie loops at the ends here to easily hang it. And to do that, I'm just going to kind of fold my twine or my thread in half. And then I'm going to tie a knot but leaving a long edge here out. So I'm gonna tie a knot about an inch or two in and pull that out. So that creates this little loop. I'm gonna do that on both sides here so you can see it again. And then I'll trim off the extra. So for this one here, and just kind of fold it in half and then tie a knot, but you wanna tie a knot a little bit further in. So pull that looped edge through the knot 
and out. And that creates a nice little loop to easily hang it on. I'm gonna cut that off. And then you can see your whole little garland here looking so, so cute and ready for Thanksgiving. You can hang this up. Maybe if you have a whole little dessert bar, sounds like some of you are gonna have all sorts of pies, which is so cute. So you can hang this up on the walls. Again, you can turn this into a ton of different other little crafts for the Thanksgiving season as well. So I hope that you guys had so much fun. I'm so thankful for all of you and for crafting with me today and making these adorable little pie slices. Uh, we're gonna be back again with Kimmy Modern and Michaels in December to make our own little picture frames using wooden craft sticks and thumbprints. This is a great little gift idea for Christmas. Um, so I had so much fun and looking forward to crafting with you guys soon. Thanks.